Hello there. I wanted to make a quick guide on some things I've seen a lot of people missing in Hogwarts Legacy. Just little things that can make the game a lot more fun. So, let's start out with the Room of Requirement here. Now, on my first playthrough, somehow I completely missed this. But you'll see these statues here. Now, if you go up to this one, it'll disappear. And it'll open up an entirely new area. I'm not sure how I missed it, but I did. So... I would think other people have missed it too. Alright, so the next thing, the transmog menu. Now this is one of the best transmog systems I've ever seen in a game. So say you got a new hat, oh wait. So say you got a new hat and it looks really dumb and you, you like the stats better. So we'll select that one. Now hover over the gear item and press square. Then that will bring you to the appearance menu. Now this logs every appearance that, or every item's appearance that you pick up. So everything you've ever picked up, even if you sell it, drop it, doesn't matter. You will always have it. And like I said, it's just one of the best transmog systems I've ever seen. So, all right, the next thing So, one skill that I see a lot of people sleeping on, and honestly, it probably should have been like a passive upgrade or something that you don't have to spend skill points on, but spell knowledge. Now, spell knowledge is going to make the game a lot more fun for you. See, what it does is you now have four sets of spells to swap between that you can swap with holding R2 and the directional pad. Now, you can put all your uh, utility spells like Disillusionment, Lumos, Repero, Wingardium Leviosa, that kind of stuff on one of them and then put some serious damage spells or good combo setups on another and put your control spells on one. It just makes the game a lot more fun. All right, what else? Um, oh, the challenge menu. So I see a lot of people doing the Merlin challenges and getting upset because they can't actually unlock this, the uh, equipment slots that it says you unlock. So what you have to do after you complete enough challenges is you go into this challenge menu, and this is where you're going to unlock your items. Now the ancient magic hotspots, that's how you upgrade your ancient magic meter. And Merlin trials, this is where you want to go to increase your storage slots. So once you complete the requisite number of Merlin trials, you just go in here and hit that, and you will have more slots. And the last thing I want to cover is how to get the unforgivable spells. So I won't do any spoilers, but the trick here is just when you see any of the In the Shadow quests, do those and always be Sebastian sycophant. Just always tell him he's doing the right thing, be nice to him, and when he offers to teach you something, do it. So yeah, I hope that helps anybody, and I will catch you on the next one. Have a great day.